Queen of Cups, and that is a lot of love in this connection. Maybe a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and they have a big cup of love for you. Okay. Oh, we do another. Okay, the last one, and then we cut the cards to see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. And we do have the Queen of Swords, Leo. We do have a lot of queens, right? We had a King of Wands with Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, um, and Page of Wands. I'm just saying, somebody has too many queens around the table. Well, too many. What is too many, you know? Let's define terms, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. <clears throat> Sorry. I woke up playful today. So, bottom of the deck, Leo. We do have the Four of Pentacles. Somebody hold, holds on to this connection like crazy. Four of Pentacles is the energy of I'm not letting my Leo go. Or it can be you not letting go of a connection that was very painful. Ten of Swords. A connection where there was a lot of betrayal. Ten of Swords is really somebody kicking you while you're still down. You know, already down, not still. Already done, down. And... Um, it's actually in your back so right we didn't see it coming um and still it was there and still it was painful and we are still holding on to this i do love the hermit because it kind of tells me we are a little bit wiser or the person is a little bit wiser the people involved and we have this light in our hands right now so we know what this is all about and we are um again we learned the lesson might be for some of you or the person you are dealing with, they've um, learned the lesson through this process. You know, it's like something somehow was necessary in order for us to have this light in our hand, right? Or in their hand, however this resonates. Um, Virgo energy, right? The Hermit is Virgo energy. You might be dealing with a Virgo and they've messed up. So Leo, past energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies possible outcome on your side for the third week of march but again time is fluid you know how it works in tarot and again we always have free will six of swords Somebody might have walked away and the wisdom comes from the distance and the perspective. And we do have the moon, might be a Pisces you are dealing with or simply somebody walked away because of fear or somebody stays away because of fear or you want to stay away from this person because we are still recovering slowly. Ten of Swords with the moon might, for some of you, might actually um, go through uh, a depression of some sort. Um, you know, moments where we don't know where to head, right? Where we are heading, we just, we are, you know, just existing. Um, so we'll see what's going on here. We'll see what's going on. I do, I adore actually the Six of Swords because it's the energy of peace of mind. It's making peace with the past and moving towards something that allows us to come back in balance. Um, and I do love the Hermit energy because it is the perspective, it is the light, it is the wisdom, past lessons, and expanding the mind through um, personal experience. So, um, you know, all that to say the Hermit with the Ten of Swords is really the energy of it happened for a reason. And it made uh, us grow up quickly. Um, so, Leah, in the past we do have the Magician and we do have the Will. Um, so we manifested something and it changed quickly, right? That's a will of fortune. Um, I don't know if the magician is a card of action, is a card of uh, being in control, is the card of having a plan, is a card of wanting badly something. Um, and then the will of fortune is the card of destiny and karma. And the universe said, no, it's not you. It's not your magic powers. It's going to be my magic powers kind of. Um, because it's co-constructing actually by excellence this is the combination of cards saying it was part uh, partially because of you yeah is it the word anyways half because of you and the other half it was because you know the wheels were turning and there was a work behind the scenes that you didn't know about 
that is and it's a card of change it is a card of up and down i'm not gonna lie right leo so maybe this connection was a little bit up and up and down up and down but there was a lot of magic in it and a lot of action on your side because again magician is really uh, taking action now the person you are dealing with leo they do have the two of cups and we do they do have the queen of pentacles so you might be dealing with a taurus virgo or a capricorn and um and there was a couple of love on the table we do have the two of cups saying there was love um honest love in a world of nurturing a, a world of emotions um you know um stability also because it is the queen of pentacles so there is a lot of um solid energies coming with probably a little too practical but in the same time you know uh, you know you can count on that's the energy of pentacles of everyday life and focusing on what's important to keep everything in balance and we do love the two of cups so yep yeah, there was love here there was love on the table they loved you Leo if that was your question Mutual energies between the two of you in the past, we do have the judgment and we do have the star, Aquarius energy. And judgment with the ten of swords and the six of swords kind of tells me that somebody walked away and that is probably, a, there was maybe a divorce here. Judgment is a sentence, it's legal papers also. It is second chances and healing, but it is also um, with the overall energy. I believe it looks like a divorce over here. It looks like a separation looks like a fight for money i'm not gonna lie but in the same time a lot of wisdom in the process and with the star we know it's um um counseling and guidance so i'm i'm, I'm sure both of you um you know you got some help in the process and yeah there was love and yes there was a lot of manifestation but also somehow it was an end in an in the in some way right a, pen, a painful ending here um with the ten of swords again and the judgment and i do love the counseling card i feel that um you know somebody kind of fought for this leo i don't know who did maybe you or your person that is this energy of fighting for this that it's an energy of healing of uh, approaching this situation you know from a place of let's see what can be done and from a place of wisdom i love the uh, the hermit as i was saying I don't know who's holding on to money here. Four of Pentacles is an, ener an energy of, you know, it's the miser in the whole deck. So I don't know if um, you, you might be dealing with somebody who is quite practical or, you know, um, focused on money and finances because somebody here is really holding on to, um, you know, to this, to the last Pentacle somehow. I'm just saying. One is healing, one is looking at the situation from a very practical standpoint, I would say. This is how it feels. So energies right now, Leo, we have you standing tall. We do have the Queen of Wands and it is the Seven of Wands. So somebody here is in action mode. I would, I, yeah, I know, Seven of Wands, you say, yeah, we are, we are fighting. I don't feel this is really pr protecting your territory and also your well-being your peace of mind you being you um you know standing tall and and fighting for your own bubble your own space and and um you know um kind of keeping people away in some way that's a seven of wands because we are still healing right we are still learning the lessons we are not out of out of the woods just yet with the moon as the overall energy we are still journeying towards that's how I see the Six of Swords, right? We are in a process of disconnecting from a situation that was painful um, and uh, getting your power back, right? Queen of Wands is the energy of I'm going to be passionate again. I'm going to be myself again. I'm going to focus on myself. This is by excellence a combination of energy saying, please keep away the negative energies from my own energy. You know, please keep your vibes away. Um, and that is an energy again of um of healing and standing tall now the person you are dealing with uh we do have the king of wands and we do have the devil so i don't know if you are dealing with a capricorn here leo we do have queen of pentacles and the devil maybe a capricorn in, and if that's the case 
And we have the King of Wands, masculine energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius can very well be your energy. But this is the energy of temptation. If it's a Capricorn, thank God, right? So they are passionate about you, they love you, and um, it's this energy, very mature energy. It's like, Leo, please do not be a child. You know, we have we have something solid here, so, you know, don't, um, you know, yeah, that was a betrayal, but, you know, we can grow out of it. And this is their approach, if this person is a Capricorn. Well, if this person is another fire sign, uh, well, we... We have some um, some temptation around this person, right? But we have love too. We do have the Two of Cups and we do have the Devil. So again, however this resonates, they might, um, you know, still be tempted, still fighting demons. Um, that's also another energy. They might have somebody in their life, like a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. We do have the Queen of Pentacles and the Devil. So I don't know, however this um, resonates with you, might be, um, you know, because we do have two feminine energies here, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and now we have the Devil, so again, maybe you are dealing with somebody who still has somebody in their energies in some way, it's an indication of a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but again, and, um, and I would really pay attention. We have one card of love and one card of temptation. So who's the love? Who's the temptation? I'm just saying. Putting that out there for some of you. And mutual energies, you show up and the Queen of Cups. So now we have three feminine energies. I'm just saying. But you show up right in it. So your energy is all over their energy. And that is so much love and that is so much taming. That is so much temptation because the strength is being on our best behavior even when you know, our body is just screaming, please make love to me, kind of energy. And then that is the Queen of Cups. It's such a beautiful energy of love and emotions, a bonding, emotional bonding, um, and a big fat cup of love. So I'm just saying that is a lot of love between you and this person. We might be a little bit defensive, but again, you can switch, um, right? You can swap um, energies. This can be their energy. This can be your energy. Anyways, you show up all over the place. We do have Queen of Wands. We have King of Wands. Um, and, um, and love all over the place. Love and divine guidance and somehow healing all over the place so far. For some of you, strength in the middle of the reading is like you are the cause of all this, but in a good way, right? And then the Queen of Cups is like, you know, the combination of cards saying they really love you for who you are. It's like discovering somebody. Um, and that is temptation and that is love in the same time. So such a beautiful reading. I don't quite know why you are so defensive, but I can understand healing with the Seven of Wands. I do... Um, I do understand, you know, because we go from I am on the top of the world here with the magician and really giving everything. We know we know that, right? The magician upright is a whole energy of um, manifesting good. It's actually the energy of as above, so below. So whatever was, uh, whatever is, you know, written and whatever is out there and the universe has a plan for, well, it happens in the real life because we manifest. So anyways, I'm just saying it's a connection to the divine. So um and then we have this energy of seven of wands right we go from like a big manifestation of of what you wanted with this person to like a world of um you know self-protection in some way but then that is love i do love right in the middle of the reading of course i do not love the devil but in the same time i say to myself you know um we do have uh, rebirth, we have energies of manifestation, we have powerful energies with the Queen of Wands, King of Wands. So I'm sensing Leo, you know exactly what you want and the person you are dealing with, they know exactly, you know. And of course, what do you want me to say? There is a um, soulmate energy here, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, being on the same level, the same frequency, right? The same energy, vibing, right? I'm just saying. And then there is a world of love here. But that was a, a world of betrayal too, you know? For some of you, might have been financial. Four of Pentacles is something about money or had an impact on money in some way. And Ten of Swords is really shooting you in the back. 
<clears throat> just saying. Um, and so when we thought two queens were enough, now we have the third queen over here. <laughs> just saying. I don't know what, what energy. I might be um, picking up on an energy of the of a same sex couple. We do have Queen of Swords and we do have the Ace of Pentacles. Such a beautiful energy. One is about being smart, uh, being articulated, um, you know, going after what she wants. Um, it's like I'm not going to put up with any BS. I only want a kind of straightforward whatever I want. And then we do have Ace of Pentacles. It's the energy of receiving. It's the energy maybe, Leo, you feel like you, um, you know, want to give an offer to this person. And for some of you, it might be guidance. Can you please be smart about this one? Because Queen of Swords, we know she's the smartest one um, in the uh, in the deck. One is blinded by passion, the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Cups is blinded by emotions and love. So, you know, and the Queen of Swords is like maybe cold but fair in some way. So maybe all this is a journey of how can I um, find the middle ground between the passion that I have and the love that I have and then... Here comes the Queen of Swords. How about you be rational about, you know? It's kind of the universe saying, how about you be a Queen of Swords about? Um, now, the person you are dealing with, they do have the Eight of Pentacles and we do have eight, uh, they have the world. So this is the energy of working towards an ending of some sort. And if they are so surrounded by all these Queens, somebody is working towards an ending of some sort. Um because the world is happy endings for some of you being separated from this person we know the world is about happy endings is about a story finishing in in such a beautiful way you know we go through the ups and downs of the wheel of fortune that we got in the past the judgment a decision a sentence whatever um you know final decision as the judgment represents in terms of energies to fighting for this and we go back to happy endings because it has to end in a very beautiful way and i'm not if you know we go we always go back to the overall energy that is some pain somewhere but somebody uh kind of go wild uh, wild wise about so um mutual energies and the possible outcome we do have the moon might be a pisces you are dealing with and we do have the three of pentacles maybe you work with this person but this is the energy of partnership so it goes in two different ways and that is there are two different messages for some of you you might have somebody again if you are dealing with the pisces all is good um we have this three of pentacles building a life together um having this practical partnership it's a little bit your energy too because you have it's a pentacle you have right we go from um right now taming ourselves and and um you know putting a little bit um you know covering a little bit the fire in your belly that's the strength with the queen of cups and we go to being practical and we go to partnership for some of you not dealing with the Pisces, this is the energy of being a little bit afraid about this partnership. And I can understand once we get burned, right? Um, we make sure even, you know, the soup is cold kind of energy. And it's being a little bit cautious and being a little bit afraid, you know. But an offer is on the table and somebody wants, um, you know, to go full circle and end the situation in a happy way instead of whatever Ten of Swords was in the past and in terms of people you might be dealing with we do have Taurus Virgo or Capricorn we have Virgo again we have Pisces a couple of times we have another fire sign like yourself Aries Leo Sagittarius Pisces Cancer Scorpio we have Capricorn again Gemini Libra or Aquarius of course and that's it and that is it and Oh, yeah, they are so tempted, oh my god, by you, Leo. We don't have the devil, the strength. Together, it's like an explosive, uh, you know, it's like I cannot be in the same room with you for a second kind of energy. Um, It's this combination, oh yeah. It's a big combination of, I'm not sure you're gonna, you know, your clothes will survive, kind of, you know or your shirt or whatever the dress kind of energy um yeah i know 
So let's ask for some guidance. It's so interesting, uh, Leo, in terms of energies because we have, um, and I guess it kind of makes sense because you know your, your situation and you know your own level of betrayal. But this is the overall energy, so it's like something still being in the background and yet this, all this and underground or under this kind of energy, right? Across the board kind of energy. Then we have this crazy energy. I'm just saying you see it, right? We still have temptation. We still have emotions. We are on our best behavior. We are fighting for this. We still love the bastard. We have an offer in our hand, right? Or the bitch. Somebody told me, why the bastard? Well, or the bitch. Because we can, we have, and, um, and ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, I know. Let's ask for some guidance, Leo. Let's see what we need to do here. Let's see what we need to do over here because things are steamy. Surrender to divine timing. That is some waiting in here. Don't we all have to wait? So Leo, it says sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. I believe that's how you got the Wheel of Fortune in um, in your past connection with this person because this is about the universe being in control and saying I'm the boss. Surrender your belief in scarcity. So the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So maybe this energy of the Four of Pentacles is yours. I don't know, right? That is something about money and that is something about this connection that is um, in your energy, questioning you and pushing you. And we love this. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. I love this. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. And Leo, for some of you, being stubborn, the universe is saying, surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. And I wonder if it has something to do with the Queen of Swords here. Maybe we feel a little bit hurt and now we have a sword in our hand and every time we address, we address the person, it might be a little bit cold. We might have an offer, but it comes with um, God knows what, right? Something that's cold and... Um, or maybe we don't know how to give this offer that we have. That is something about a rigid stance about something. But I so understand if they've hurt you like this, well, you know, at some point, that is so much we can do about it. Um, and we need to heal because the overall energy that is still betrayal all over the place. And we know something on a deeper level with the, uh, with the hermit, but still. Now let's have another um, guardian angel. We're going to have just one and then we say goodbye. We have nine of swords. We still have concerns, right? We still have concerns. So stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts toward the positive. There is no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problem to your angels. We need to send it back to the universe, right? It's an imaginary thing. Nine of Swords, it's kind of the universe saying, Oh, come on, Leo, it is in your head. Um, so, Leo, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see you next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.